morning, everyone. Welcome to the gift. Thank this you. is too much fun not to share with you guys. So you can see there's a green screen behind me. And we are in screen TV. This morning I came with my lovely blue shirt. With you guys. So you can see there's a green screen behind me. And oh, I'm getting some great feedback here. Um, yeah, so you can see there's a green screen behind me, and my lovely blue shirt has me disappearing into the green screen. So we made a last minute set change here. And um, I just felt that was too fun not to share. So uh, I actually would love to um, share with you this morning about um, a new book we have coming out, which you guys have heard about. Jeff has been sharing about it. And um, you're going to start seeing much more of Jenny and Greg Donner sharing about it. And that is who I'm joined by today. I'm joined by Greg, Greg Donner in Camus and Jenny Donner up at the Monastery Angels Landing. So welcome, Jenny and Greg. Thank you to be here. Hi, everyone. Beautiful. Yeah, well, the, the book is called This Moment is Your Miracle. And um, as I said, you're going to start hearing much more about it. It's um, kind of a new style of book that's coming out. Uh, by David, of course, and you're going to see it really um, explode in February when it comes out. And as I was just praying into what my show would be this week, I feel that there's this book comes into my mind and something about the colors and the the content of the book as I've started reading it just really, really jumps out at me. And I have this word in my mind, rich. It's very, very rich. And um, so my inspiration today is to join here and um, explore with you, Jenny, and you, Greg, just the journey of this book and what we can expect from this book and um, how very, very practical it is. And to lead us into that, I'd like to share with you an excerpt from the book, which really jumped out at me as I was reading it. So... Here we go. The Holy Spirit, the ever-present comforter and guide, is always there in the depths of your mind, waiting for you to come with your prayers, with your offerings of forgiveness, and with your requests for guidance. If you truly want to experience a lasting state of peace and of love and joy, and want to save time in getting there, I would like to offer you a spirituality that is very practical. In my experience, it comes down to the formula of 1% principle and 99% practice. The 1% principle must be truly helpful, leading you out of the illusion of separation and not deeper into it. At the end of the day, Focusing much more on the practice of forgiveness rather than on the theory is the fast track to true peace and happiness. The consistent practical application of true principle is what makes lasting change. To help you do this, I'm going to take you on a journey deep within. It's a journey of self-inquiry and self-discovery that makes change possible. Without going within, studying your own mind and taking a good close look at the false thoughts and beliefs you have about yourself, you cannot find the answers and change you're looking for. So as I was starting to read through this book, first of all, the foreword is stunning. Alan Cohen has written the foreword and so beautifully and accurately describes just the way that David is such a pioneer and is, the words that come to mind are, reliable guide, like just, you shall know them by their fruits, such a very uh, clear and consistent demonstration of love, of what we're all going for. And so now we're diving into practical, and this book really, I feel, offers that in such a beautiful, gentle, friendly, inviting way. So 
I'd love to hear from you, Jenny, and you, Greg, just your experience of the content of this book and any initial thoughts you have to share about it, actually. Okay. Yeah, I feel like everything you say, it's um, what I feel about it. And that was, I think, my passion when this project came, came our way was to um, be able to bring David's words and David's message through in a big way and um, yeah, out to the world. So, so um, it, it's been really, really fun and beautiful to, to um, work with that. And yeah, we were asked or we were told that this book should go to like a new spiritual seeker and uh, uh, like a, a Christian seeker that is starting to get into spirituality and and I um, I was thinking of that this morning that yeah the whole the whole Western world is actually ex Christians pretty much so it's very very exciting to to be able to be part of offer David's teaching in this way. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful, Jenny, because when we were just speaking this morning, actually, and that's what you said you were in so inspired to share about, actually, is that this is for a new reader and that actually it was so close to your heart. And like, as you shared your background, um, I'm wondering if maybe you just feel to elaborate on that a little bit more, because i that's what I feel touched by, by these shows and by everything that we're doing. And it, it seems to be coming more becoming more of an experience for me it's truly that everything that I'm doing is really for me and so this book seems to have just been even an answer in a deep way to what we're calling for yeah 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 I mean I was uh, I was I am an ex-christian <laughs> and I feel like I am a Christian in a true true way um, because of the Christ, the message of the Christ, the message of yeah of our true identity and how to undo the blocks to that. In that sense, uh, I'm a Christian, but the old Christian way didn't work. And um, so I uh, I remember my own struggles of wanting to find God, wanting to find the truth, and. Uh, and it was, it was was hard because the, the Christianity that is taught in the Western world is a lot about sin and guilt. Um, so it took a lot to get out of um, of that belief that you sin every day and you're you know uh, um, you're very you get very guilt ridden. Um, so for me to genuinely be able to reach the ones that are going through what I've gone through. Um, yeah, it's, it's truly inspiring. I'm very, very grateful to be able to, to uh, put forward David's teaching that way. And he was also a Christian. He grew up Christian too. So it's very, yeah, it's very close to all our hearts. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like with this deep unwinding, it's so important to have something that's so practical so that we can start to break out of that guilt riddenness and that's part of why I was inspired to share today is just because it it has to be practical otherwise you don't get anywhere like otherwise you're stuck in stuck in that one percent theory and you lose out on the 99 percent practical so either Jenny or Greg I would love to hear what you what your take is on this and in fact um I had heard as well that Camus was exercising with this book a little bit. Like there's, um, you know, your traditional readings. And then there's also an exercise at the end of, I think, most chapters. And if not all chapters. And so there you go. Like there's your gateway into the practical. And more than that, even, is just that like we're actually using it here too in because it works. Like 
I feel like that's such a beautiful demonstration of like, this is not for anybody else, it's for us. And then from that place, then we can share from, you know, such a, um, a vibrancy. It's been amazing to use this as a tool, you know, here in Camus, where we have a small group um, and actually the theme of intimacy came in strongly, you know, when I first arrived at Camus and was going to oversee the house and, and, it's an opportunity really. And it's in the exercises come back to prayer as well. I want to kind of bring that in too, because it's very full. Like we go and we express, you know, there's this intimacy of sharing what's on our heart. Um, and that's part of every practice in the exercises. Um, and then it invites us to um, do a prayer, which feels very deepening in terms of our relationship with the Holy Spirit. And that's probably the key too. like with the book, it is the key. And the book says it's the key. You know, we have to tune into our inner guide and um, start to let go of our own, I know mind, our own opinions. And um, it's extremely practical. Um, the very first chapter we did was really looking at our opinions um, as we go through our day, it's, it's one of the practices um, to see where we actually think we know something about a situation or about a relationship. Um, it's all deep inquiry. It's all um, about exposing to the Holy Spirit. It's about opening up. Um, and the prayers, yeah, I, I, it's come to me this morning. Like I want to say how important that part is um, because that's our way to connect in a very deep way um, and let go of what we believe is true and to surrender into that safety, that peace, um, that security that the Holy Spirit is guaranteeing us. So, yeah, it's been pretty amazing. Yeah, I remember when I was first starting out on this path and hungry for the next steps, like really just starting to experience this longing in my heart for something else. And I don't even know if the course had made it into my hands yet, but there was this deep longing for something else and um, an understanding as well that like maybe a clean out of my mind needed to happen and to have a guide like this or really like anything like the course is, but to have this practical step by step, especially when the mind is just cracking open to this feels so valuable. And um, in particular, the, the exercises just feel very sparkly in my mind like this, like something so practical as I don't need to be living in community. I don't need to be anywhere special. I just start right where I am with this book in my hands and practice where I'm making judgments and where I have opinions about things and then practice trying what the book offers or the practice or the, um, the teaching offers and to see if by opening my mind just a little bit, I can come a little bit deeper. So, yeah, there's just something about this book that really sparkles in my heart. Um, the same way that I feel it very, very strongly with some of the events that happen, it's like this is actually a really deep gift for the mind. This is a, a very practical stepping stone. As the course is, as you said, Greg, to actually get in touch with that inner guide, which is going to you know, take over and start to really lead. But look, I know there's times when I'm stuck and I need something written on a page that I can follow that actually is going to help me get out of this place where I'm spinning in my mind. So I, yeah, there's an offering here. There's something on offer that feels very, very valuable. Yeah, it's, um, it's like, in the course, you know, it's a self-study and we're, we're there, you know, working with our mind in quiet or, you know, could be early in the morning and we're, we're sinking in beneath our thoughts. But then when we get up and go about our day, we have relationships, we have jobs, we have um, situations that, you know, we're simply projecting onto. And the exercises are very, they're, they're direct questions. Uh, there's journaling and, and inquiry to sort of investigate what's happening. Um, and then, like I was saying too, there's, there's um, a prayer aspect to, to it as well. So it's, it, it comes back to, I would say, um, yeah, our heart in a lot of ways. Yeah, and when you, when you do, when you start doing the exercises, you will see that 
you will see your mind. It's inevitable that you don't see, you, you will see exactly what you believe um, with all the inquiries and um, yeah, to, to really see the thoughts because the spiritual path is so much about mind training and mind watching and start to learn to, to catch or to see what's happening in the mind all the time. Um, so, so the book is going to do that and, and, and doing that is going to clear it. It's going to clear the mind. And there is, yeah, I think this book is a bit humorous too. There is a lot of fun examples and like it's practical throughout and like with guidance, I know somewhere it's talking about um, how when you truly hear guidance, it's a synergy, it's a flow, and it's a very deep experience of everything working together. And there's one example with like, if you're in a relationship and one part says, I'm not guided to take out the trash. Well, I'm not guided to take out the trash either. You know, that, that's like an example of how it can go in relationships. And that's an example of how the spirit is not working. Um, the spirit is not working with, you know, individual, that one person has certain guidance and another one has different guidance. No, when you're in guidance, you're in a flow. And so it's many examples like that. And then the practical way to how you work with your mind to actually get to the experience of, of the flow. So, yeah, I find it really, really cool. It's like the course, but in very simplified form that we can that everyone can grasp without understanding the word atonement or you know those more difficult words that that the course uses yeah i love that i i love that about the course with the 365 lessons and then as we're talking about this it's like again we need that practicality that step by step how do i apply this to i don't feel to take out the trash actually Rather than, you know, it's a leap in the mind that from I don't feel to take out the trash to, you know, atonement. So that's beautiful. And um, Jenny, Greg, I don't know if you feel open to this, but um, we've got a question. Or um, Rich Lespesa wants to share an experience that he had listening to Greg read the book. So if you feel open, we can bring Rich on. Yeah. Hi, Rich. Yeah, um, I'm really excited for this book because I think it was um, several months ago, Greg had read a portion of the book and Greg's just got such a beautiful voice, you know, when he reads it, it was just so relaxing. And so I was in the, in the patio in the backyard and it was very quiet and I was listening to Greg read this and then I don't even remember all the words but it, there was a part in it that he talked about birds chirping and then suddenly as the birds he read that you know I had a hummingbird feeder and like six hummingbirds started twirling around the hummingbird feeder and they all sat down and I was like oh my god what is going on here so you know in addition to that crazy experience it just I just, you guys are, are creating anticipation for that book. Like you don't even know. It's just, <laughs> when is it going to be ready? <laughs> I can't wait, you know, but no, it was, there's something there big. And, and I just wanted to share. Yeah. I felt so peaceful as you were reading it. And then I hope that, you know, you do some more of that from readings from the book and share that with everybody because it was just very powerful. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share. It really means a lot to me too. So thank you. Thank you, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna come. Some more excerpts are gonna be shared. And the book is coming out in two and a half months. So and we wanna build it anticipation. We want it to get out there. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, if um, I know it's been shared around a bit now, but if you haven't already read the excerpt of chapter, I think it's chapter nine, we've got that available. And 
Jeff, for uh, somebody will put it in the chat for you so that you can you can have an experience of it on your own already. And yeah, I'm going to do it. So um, we also want to actually take you through one of the the exercises here today, and. Jenny, you felt some inspiration to guide us through the golden platter exercise. So we've got about seven minutes or so where we can just really drop into that together and invite the experience. You can um, do this exercise about mm -hmm. um, to come into guidance. And uh, yeah, I just want to invite you, Greg, to... Mm -hmm. um, Share it right with me or do come in if you feel later. And so if everyone just starts by just sitting real comfortably and uh, relax. Maybe take a deep breath and close your eyes. This is going to be a few minutes long and you, you're going to go into your mind. So just make space for this now for a while. You close your eyes and take as much time as you need to feel present and focused. As you move through this assignment, I encourage you to allow any reactions or emotions to come up freely. Don't restrict or censor yourself. Think of an area in your life where you feel you need some direction right now, big or small. Close your eyes and relax into a space where you feel attentive, clear, and calm. Bring this area to mind and hold it in awareness as you prepare to offer it to the Holy Spirit. Allow for any images to appear in your mind that represent the essence of this issue. Take your time. When you have your issue clear and what you would like to hand over, imagine a large round golden platter in front of you and see yourself placing your issue on this golden platter and offering it to spirit. We can think of spirit as a vast, warm light. Then let it go. Don't think about it. Try not to think of anything at all. You have brought your issue to the spirit. Now relax. You give yourself over to the Holy Spirit completely in this moment. Stay in this place of communion with the Holy Spirit for as long as you feel helpful. Just be in this moment without expectation. Now exercise your willingness and present capacity to trust. If you find yourself reverting back to worrying about the situation and taking it back into your mind, that's okay. Just relax and forgive yourself and just begin again by placing the issue on the platter and offering it to spirit. Let it go. Take your time. Just know that whether you get a specific answer or not now, you can feel calm and reassured because you have handed it over to spirit. He will guide you. Drop any desire for a particular outcome, but remain alert and expect miracles.
And we have a prayer, a prayer for guidance. I open my heart to you, Holy Spirit. I am willing to ask you guide my every step and to follow you, for I know this is my way home. Help me to be in a consistent state of peace, to let go of all my resistance, my fears, and the conflicting wishes that stop me from knowing your peace and guidance. Amen. And now, as you come out of the meditation and the prayer, just stay with a sense of calm and connection and know that divine guidance has you. Allow yourself to be open as to, to know what to do next. Be alert to feeling or hearing from within an answer or a direction to take. It can come from external signs or symbols through what someone says or just as a feeling from within. It can be a feeling of a yes or a no. Watch out for any tendency to use the ego intellect instead Allow your intuition, the Holy Spirit, to lead you. No matter what the guidance is, trust that it will be what makes you happy if you follow it. For God's will is for your happiness. Yeah. Well, this show is called The Gift. And I don't know, I feel inspired to just speak to, to offer this. We have six recordings that will be part of an online accessory um, um, to the book. And I think, I think we can give the, this recording, it's one of our residents uh, from Living Miracles there. She's in Mexico when she recorded it. Um, and it's beautiful um, voice with uh, some music background and and um, what do you think, Jenny? Is it time to give yeah, this recording? Let's give it. Okay. Let's give maybe, it away. Maybe today, if if it's in the flow with Jeff and all that, we can I can send the link. Um, and it's it's lovely. It's really lovely. We had amazing mystical experiences over here in Canvas with that. So yeah, use it every day. Yeah. Yeah. And we'd love for everyone to, to write a review and uh, yeah, we'll put the link for the review as well and yeah and all that. So okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Thank you, thank you so much, Jenny and Greg, for joining me today. I feel so grateful for tools like this because we can't do this alone, and we wouldn't want to. And this book, Our Mighty Companions. The gifts coming your way. I just feel like this is like the blessings rain down. So for the mind that really wants to wake up, there's just nothing stopping us actually. And I'm grateful for the show, this opportunity to share, expand my mind and to join with Jenny, to join with Greg and to just share with all of you. So thank you so much. And um, we'll see you next week thank you thank you so much Kristen